హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈసీ అకాడమీ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ లెట్ అస్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ఏ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఆన్ సర్క్యులర్ కన్వల్యూషన్ అండ్ లీనియర్ కన్వల్యూషన్ హియర్ టూ సీక్వెన్సెస్ ఆర్ గివన్ ఎక్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ అండ్ హెచ్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ ఫర్ దీస్ టూ సీక్వెన్స్ వీ నీడ్ టు ఫైండ్ ది సర్క్యులర్ కన్వల్యూషన్ లీనియర్ కన్వల్యూషన్ అండ్ లీనియర్ కన్వల్యూషన్ యూజింగ్ సర్క్యులర్ కన్వల్యూషన్ ఫస్ట్ లెట్ అస్ ఫైండ్ ది సర్క్యులర్ కన్వల్యూషన్ ఆఫ్ ది గివన్ సీక్వెన్స్ సో టు ఫైండ్ ది సర్క్యులర్ కన్వల్యూషన్ వీ నీడ్ టు రైట్ ది సీక్వెన్స్ ఎక్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ అండ్ హెచ్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ ఇన్ ఫోర్ క్రాస్ ఫోర్ మెట్రిక్స్ సో వీ నీడ్ టు ఫైండ్ వై ఆఫ్ ఎన్ దట్ విల్ బీ ఈక్వల్ టు ఫస్ట్ విల్ రైట్ ది మెట్రిక్స్ ఫర్ ఎక్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ ఇన్ ది మెట్రిక్స్ ఫస్ట్ కాలమ్ విల్ బీ ది సీక్వెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ సో వీ కెన్ రైట్ వన్ టూ త్రీ అండ్ ఫోర్ సో వైల్ రైటింగ్ సెకండ్ కాలమ్ వీ కెన్ రైట్ వన్ టూ త్రీ అండ్ ఫోర్ సో యాజ్ యూ కెన్ అబ్జర్వ్ we have shifted 1 here 2 in this position 3 here and 4 it is shifted towards the first position so here we are shifting this sequence in circular form so in next column we'll write 1 2 then 3 and 4 in the next column we'll write 1 2 3 and 4 so you need to remember this matrix will depend upon the number of sequence given in x of n if x of n is having five values at that case we need to write 5 cross 5 matrix since here four sequence is given so we'll write 4 cross 4 matrix for x of n then we'll multiply this x of n matrix with h of n so you can write 1 2 2 and you can append 0 because we need the sequence of h of n to be equal to the sequence of x of n. Now, once you write the matrix, you can multiply. So, if you multiply first row with this column, you will get 15. So, if you multiply second row with this column, you will get 12. If you multiply third row with this column, you will get 8. And if you multiply fourth row with this column you will get 14 so y of n that is circular convolution of x of n and h of n will be equal to 15 12 8 and 14 so this is the circular convolution for the given sequence now let us find linear convolution to find linear convolution First, let us write the sequence x of n. So, we will write x of n, which is 1, 2, 3 and 4. And we will write y of n, which is 1, 2 and 2. Now, once you have written the sequence, you need to multiply 4 with this 2. Then you need to multiply 3 with this 2. Then you need to multiply 2 with this 2. And then you need to multiply 1 with this 2. So, 4 into 2, it is 8. 3 into 2, it is 6. 2 into 2, it is 4. And 1 into 2, it is 2. Similarly, we need to continue for other two values as well. So, for the second computation, we will leave the first place blank. And we will multiply. 4 into 2, it is 8. 3 into 2, it is 6. 2 into 2, it is 4. And 1 into 2, it is 2. To compute the next value, we will keep two spaces empty. Then we will write the values. Now, 4 into 1, it is 4. Then 3 into 1, it is 3. 2 into 1, it is 2 and 1 into 1 it is 1. Once you get these values, finally you need to add these numbers so that you can get the final answer. So, the first column it is 8 and the second column it is 6 plus 8 which is 14. Next 4 plus 6 plus 4 it is 14. Then 2 plus 4 plus 3 which is 9. 
next 2 plus 2 which is 4 and then it is 1. So linear convolution y of n will be equal to x of n convoluted with h of n. We got the value as 1, 4, 9, 14, 14 and 8. So this is the sequence for linear convolution. Now let us understand linear convolution using circular convolution. The first step is to identify the length of each sequence. So if you take x of n, the length of x of n can be represented as m, so which is equal to 4. As you can see here, the length of x of n is 4. Similarly, the length of h of n is 3. So we can write the length of h of n is n is equal to 3 and the length of output sequence y of n will be equal to m plus n minus 1 which will be 4 plus 3 minus 1. So the length of y of n will be equal to 6. So the length of output sequence is 6. That's why we need to make the length of x of n and y of n is equal to 6 by appending 0. So we'll write x of n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and to make the length equal to 6 we'll append two zeros. So we'll take 0, 0. Similarly the length y of n we can write it as 1, 2, 2. To make the length of y of n is equal to 6, so we'll append zeros. So we'll append 0, 0 and 0. So this is the sequence y of n. Once we have both the sequences, we can use the method which we have used to find the circular convolution. So we need to find y of n that will be equal to so we need to write the matrix which is equal to 6 by 6 for x of n in the circular way. So first column of x of n will be 1, 2, 3, 4, then 0 and 0. Next it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. One more 0, we will write it on the top. Then shift 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 0. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 0 and 0. Similarly, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 0. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 0 and 0. Now we will write the sequence y of n which is 1, 2, 2, 0, 0 and 0. Now, if we multiply these two matrix, we will get 1, 4, 9, 14, 14 and 8. So, we can say the linear convolution of x of n and y of n using circular convolution method, we have the sequence 1, 4, 9, 14, 14 and 8. So this is about problem on circular convolution and linear convolution. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.